Oh, there's so much static everywhere. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm about to stand up. Oh, I don't like this. Anyways, that's my intro. I'm going to stand up somewhere now. It's too much, too much static. I'm going to shock myself. Oh, don't shock me. Don't get shocked. Don't get shocked. Welcome back to my channel. I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. Like, whew, it's been a whirlwind. The past month has been a complete. I don't even know how to explain it. I have so much to talk about. Don't worry. I'm not about to make a 40 some minute long, maybe a 50 some minute long video of me just talking about my new contract because that'd be really long and ain't nobody got time for that, right? I'm gonna break it up into two videos, but for this one, the one that you're watching right now, is gonna be basically just kinda a little update, like what's been going on. And then the next video, I'm gonna talk about what all I had to do to prepare for my second contract as a travel physical therapist and how much it cost. It wasn't too, too crazy, but still, there's just a lot of little costs here and there. Like, Add it up. So it definitely wasn't cheap. You know what I should probably start doing? I can't remember if I said this in another video. I'm gonna start doing like an introduction, or at least I should, and I keep forgetting. But anyways, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is April. I'm a travel physical therapist, and I basically just make videos of my journey, my adventures, my life as a travel physical therapist. Okay, so where the heck do I begin? Honestly, I don't even know what I talked about in my last video, which did talk about my second contract. I know I talked about obviously me getting it and where I was going. I'm gonna talk about more of like the process of everything I had to do to prepare for my contract. Like I said, that's gonna be another video. But for this video, I'm just gonna talk about how I got to this point. I was in South Carolina. I had to move out of my apartment, so I did all that. I went home, okay. <laughs> I went home to visit my family and stay with them for a little bit until my next contract started. So there was an issue though. There was an issue, a big issue I have to talk about. Not too big, but in order to practice physical therapy in a state, you had to have a license. So the only license I had was in South Carolina, which was where my first contract was, but I didn't have my Virginia one yet. So I couldn't start my job. And the reason it was taking long to get my Virginia license is because I need to get my North Carolina licensure first. And the reason I was gonna get that first is because one, North Carolina is my home state. And so because of that, I could get my North Carolina license there and get my Virginia license through the physical therapy compact or the PT compact. And the PT compact is this great, wonderful thing for a travel therapist that makes it easier for travel therapists to get licensed in other states, which are within the PT compact. Here's a little picture of the map if you want to see. So North Carolina, obviously, like it shows, is a part of the PT compact. And Virginia is too. So that means since I have my license in North Carolina, I can easily get the one in Virginia. So that's what my plan was. But what I didn't realize was how long the process would be to get my license in North Carolina. That was a quite a long process. Oh, my knees hurt. Oh, yeah. I can sit in this chair. What the heck am I doing? What is wrong with me? I just had an idea. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this. Ready? Ready? I've been expecting you. <laughs> Tell me, we need to do a straight face. Ready? I've been expecting you. <laughs> okay, so. Where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Having to wait for my North Carolina license, that took a while. It took a little over a month to get my North Carolina license in order to apply for the Virginia license. I was supposed to start my second contract on February 28th. That did not happen because I still at that time did not have a North Carolina license. So we had to push back the start date, which is okay, but I was really worried it was gonna be pushed back like a lot longer, like mid or end of March, which would have been kind of sucky to not work for that long. Because as you guys know, my main goal is to pay off my loans as soon as possible or as quickly as I can. If you want to watch the video on me trying to pay back my loans as quick as soon as possible, then please watch this video here. Thanks. So I got home, right? I think that was on like February 
22nd. Like, I wanted to work or do something while I was home so I could still get paid. Like on a little bit of time off, you know, just to kind of relax, breathe a little bit, you know, reduce the risk of burnout, which is very common, and healthcare workers. But I still wanted to work and make money. So I applied for like um, three PRN jobs. One was where my mama works. It's a very small long-term care facility. So they have a full-time PT there. But because like it's a very small place, like they don't need any extra help unless that PT were to take time off, then they would need help. But they didn't at the time. And also this one company that I worked for in South Carolina for PRN PT, they also had several facilities where I'm from. So I asked if they needed help at their facilities and they did not. So I can work there. And then one other place I applied to, I had to like go through the entire like hiring process, applying for everything. And by the time I got through all that stuff, I had to leave to come here to Virginia. So I couldn't work yet, but I'm hoping to be able to work the next time I come home after, probably after this contract is when I'll probably come home again to visit. So what did I do while I was home and not working? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that was so aggressive. I didn't do hardly anything while I was home. I was just honestly sitting around. I literally sat around so much, my butt started hurting. <laughs> okay, hear me out. I went home from South Carolina. It was about a five and a half hour drive, which I've made those drives plenty of time before, like driving six hours from home to college. And this has never happened before. But I started getting like this pain in my bottom. You know your ischial tuberosities? These are called your sit bones. These are the bones you sit on when you're sitting. I just felt this weird sensation there in that area. It was just annoying. It was just annoying, like, discomfort. So while I was in the car, I was trying to, like, you know, move around and, I don't know, I was trying to massage my hamstring because, honestly, it felt like the origin of my hamstring muscle here for visual purposes. That was discomforting, too. So, like, I was trying to massage it a little bit, which felt good when I was massaging it, so I did that. So I thought it was kind of nothing, you know, I was just irritated from sitting so much in the car for five and a half hours. So I get home and it doesn't go away and it progressively gets worse <laughs> also i didn't really work out that much so that's another problem i just was being really sedentary like the whole time i was home it got more and more irritated i guess to the point to where i could not sleep like it hurt that bad it was just like not like a sharp pain but it was like annoying a dull achy annoying feeling yeah so that was a pain in the butt literally <laughs> That was a pain in the butt. <laughs> Once I started working out <laughs> again. It started feeling much better, like so much better. Okay, so besides sitting on my butt all day, I feel like I kept myself pretty busy. I mean, I did watch a lot of YouTube and Netflix, I'll admit. Do what I, oh, I have watched The Tinder Swindler. Crazy, 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 crazy. And also I have watched Inventing Anne. Yo, that was good. I really like that series. Highly recommend go watching that. And TikTok. I was on TikTok a lot. But I did read a book. I finished a book while I was there. It's called Make Your Bed. Little things that can change your life and maybe the world. What? Um, I will gladly make my bed if I can change the world. Change the world. That'd be great. I didn't really vlog too, too much. There wasn't really much to vlog about. So this is what I have to do when I come home and bum off my parents' groceries. So since I am an imperfect vegan, let's put it that way, I decided to just gather what I can and make a little meal out of it with what my parents have in either cans, frozen stuff. Little, little vlog, little vlog time. Oh my God. We got, we got some breakfast, we got the Hardee's, and what'd you get? I got sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Yeah, she got the combo, and then I got her hash brown. Ah! Okay, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> so nothing else really important to talk about while I was home. March 3rd, I finally got an email that my North Carolina license came through, and I immediately applied for my Virginia license through the PT Compact, which is a super simple process. And also, the great thing about it is that I immediately got my Virginia licensure. I sent that over to my travel recruiter and she sent it over to her manager and then the comp or in the facility that I'm going to be working with. And she messaged me back was like, yes, you can start on Monday. So I was like, yay. So my car was jam packed. 
like in my car i can't see out the rearview mirror my trunk is completely full look at me look at this i am like stuck i can't move barely <laughs> so i got my car packed up and that friday i left for virginia <laughs> it was a really easy drive nothing crazy and i'm here i'm here we made it heavy we made it I know. I swear she's not being crushed right now. She's good. She's been, literally slept the entire freaking time. I didn't stop at all. I had to pee so bad. Hey, Bobo. You okay? You gotta get used to the travel life, Tubby. You did good in the car, though. You didn't poop or pee or throw up anywhere. You want some wet food? I'm gonna get you a big old can of wet food. I'm so glad I got this apartment. It is so awesome. Y'all want to take a little mini tour? Oh, let me show you. Let me show you a little mini tour. So first, before. So this is a three-bedroom apartment. I'm here by myself. I have it for three months. It's furnished, fully furnished. Like, this is a wonderful setup for a travel up there is. Let me show you a tour of my apartment. Okay, so here's a quick tour. So this is the front when you walk in. It's just like a little, little area. Nothing there. Okay, I have to put those in my car, don't judge me. Here is the kitchen, little cute little kitchen. Got my little whiteboard here. Stove, microwave, da da da. A little countertop, more space, sink. Don't judge me, it's kind of messy over here. So now we're walking, we're walking, and here it is, the little dining room area. We got little bar, which is really cool, Tubby's food, Tubby's litter box, and then here's Tubby's area, aka the living room. Speaking of tall tall, say hi to your YouTube viewers. Say hi. <laughs> oh my god, y'all let me show you this. My favorite part. I freaking love this window. Look how cool it is. Like you can see outside, look at the sky. <laughs> I am so excited, I love it so much. So now follow me. <laughs> And then here is where the laundry dryer is, yada yada, looking crazy. My bedroom. Also Tubby's bedroom. <laughs> How cute is this? I'm so excited. And Tubby loves it. Look at Tubby. She's so happy. Giant windows. Look how tall the ceiling is, you guys. These ceilings are so, so tall. And then we go into the... I'm just going to show you from out here. But here's the bathroom. Pretty simple, but love it, love it, love it. Love it. Okay. And there was the tour of my apartment. Quick little tour. So I am so excited I have this apartment. Oh, and actually I almost forgot to tell you guys. So you remember how I had obviously my full-time job, my travel job, Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends I had a PRN PT job where I was working, you know, anywhere from two to six hours. Usually it was only like either Saturday or Sunday, but it was pretty good money. Like PRN rates are good. I highly recommend doing a PRN job if you want to make some extra cash on the side. I found one here in Virginia where I'm at through that exact same company. So I don't have to go through like any of the hiring stuff, like, like turning in all these documents and signing stuff. And it's going to be in this, I think it's going to be in this, I think it's an assisted living facility. And I think it also has it may have a skilled nursing facility, like, attachment. I can't remember, I'll be honest. But I'm just like, glad I have a pair in PT job that I can do on the weekends to make extra money. Also, just to keep me busy, because I don't know anyone here, and I'm not going to make friends. Also, I might be able to do a little bit of home help. I really, really, really want to get experience in home help, because that's where the money is. That's where the money is. That's where the money is. I don't have any experience in that setting, so I wanna see, you know, if I like it. If I don't like it and it absolutely sucks, so I know not to do it, but if I like it and I love it and I want some more of it, then <laughs> I want that to be my next contract. How about this? Bet. Bet. My next contract, if I don't extend this one, is gonna be in home health. How about that? If there is any with good rates in either Virginia, North Carolina, or South Carolina. By the time you see this video, I would have already started work. So in my next video, I'll give you an update on how the first week went. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. And as always, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button down below so you never miss another episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day, night, evening, morning, blah, blah, blah. Bye. I just had another idea. I need to go wake up Tubby. Tubby is currently sleeping. I know I'm gonna wake her up. She was sleeping so good. I was going to set the cat in my lap, like in that movie, is it The Godfather? I've honestly never seen it. Um, I was gonna have her in my lap, then I was gonna turn around and be like,
I've been expecting you. I've been expecting you. I can never be like intimidating whatsoever. But that doesn't mean you should underestimate.